Hi, I'm Sydney Hufford. And I'm Tavin Wolford. And, and you're, you're watching, watching CCN. CCN. Freshman Josh Wolf sat down with Dr. Corey Gregg, the new Vice President for Institutional Advancement. Aside from traveling the world, she also loves helping kids. Uh, my name is Dr. Corey Gregg, and I am the Vice President of Institutional Advancement at Cali College. Typically in a higher education institution, what institutional advancement does is uh, they work to support, promote, enhance, educate individuals about the college so that we can better position the college um, to, to do the good things that, that the mission of the college, uh, particularly community colleges, have such a great mission that we want to make sure that people understand what our mission is. Um, and, and the way that we enhance our position, position is through uh, support both uh, from individuals financially, uh, businesses, and then also uh, politically we like to be able to position the college. Okay. I'm an avid traveler, so I, uh, and back in my younger days I was a mountain climber, so I had the chance to go all over the world. And uh, most recently I was just in Antarctica over this past December and January, so that was really cool. Yeah. My strategy for students is to, to get as much money as possible to be able to provide incredible scholarships and incredible opportunities for our students. Um, Dorm life can get boring. You're sure right. Luckily, Director of Student Life, Christy Shaw, has set up many clubs and events to keep students busy on campus. We have our activity clubs, which are based on interests. The art club is for students that like to art. Creative clause would be students that like to write or like to show expression through writing. Good clause, they've got some great things going on. The line and lyrics on the lawn. Um, Act one, they also have some fun things coming up. Their fall musical, Once Upon a Mattress. For more information about clubs and events coming up, you can go to the Cali website or look at the activities board in the jungle. One more event coming up is the production of Once Upon a Mattress. We caught up with the Interium Theater Director, Kara Kim, to get the details on the musical. I'm very confident with this year's cast. Going into it with, um, usually at a university you've got four years of students, at least three of them that you, three years of them that you already know, and so you already know going in that you've got a really strong cast. Uh, with the junior college we only have half of the cast that we already know. The other half are a complete surprise, so sometimes we're not entirely sure when we first start, but but we have some amazing freshmen that have really pulled through. We've had a couple of people come out of the woodwork from nowhere. I'm really excited about the show. Well, this show is a really fun show. Um, it was written in the 1950s, and in the 50s it was considered to be an adult musical. But because, um, because of the adult humor in it is very hidden, and it has to do with fairy tales, I think that it works really well to be a family show. Um, I feel like even though it was written in the 1950s, that it definitely has a lot of timeless humor to it that helps us all to, to really enjoy it. Production is going to be November 3rd through the 5th mm -hmm. at 7.30. And then on the 5th, we're also having a 2 o'clock matinee. Fall is here, and with it comes the sports we all know and love. I had the pleasure of sitting down with Cowley Volleyball head coach Stephen Grimm to get his opinion on the season. Lack of experience other than the two sophomores. On the other hand, you have a youthful representation where they have not developed bad habits or, in other words, they haven't already get figured out things that were already done. As a new coach, it, would all, it helps me to help mold them the way we need to do it, which we would call the Cali way. Well, those five losses are against ranked opponents, and I believe in all but maybe one of them, we, we had a chance to win those. So uh, I think playing those tough opponents uh, have, have really made us uh, a much more experienced team. I think it's made the, the freshmen more experienced in that they've had to go through some trials that they've had with the, uh, with the tough schedule we've had. But we're wanting to even put it on the screen now using what we call a vert cast. The Cali uh, Sports Network about uh, using it on their broadcast. We did a little bit last, last time on Saturday. Uh, we would like to do that. That way our fans know exactly what it is without having to wait for the announcer to tell what, what, what the vert vertical is. But we want to enhance with our, in our training as well. The men's soccer team here at Cowley College has gotten off to a pretty great start with the overall record of 5-3. and three. 
this year the team has strong athletes with good speed, and they're going to provide the team with solid offense and defense. While the women's team has been a little sluggish with an overall record of three wins and six losses. You can catch their next home game October 5th versus Allen County on Channel 20 or on CowleyTigers.com. The CREO program is designed to help students graduate from Cowley and transfer to a four-year university. Here's Gabe Yonash with the story. We're here outside of the underground where the impact program is located. Let's go see what's going on. The Impact Student Support Services TRIO program is an academic program designed to help students graduate from Cowley College and or transfer to a four-year university. The program offers a variety of free services to help students be successful and meet their educational goals. Impact is a federally funded student support services TRIO program designed to help Cowley students succeed. To see if you qualify for these services, visit the underground, located right outside of the jungle. Mulvane has flooded, and Cali students and staff members alike have stepped in to lend a helping hand. We sat down with freshman Tori Spencer to hear how the flood has impacted her. My name is Tori Spencer. I live in Mulvane, Kansas, and I'm a freshman at Cali. Oh, dear. Um, well, personally, for my house, uh, our basement, it's like 14 feet tall um, or high, and it got completely filled with water, and it started coming into the first floor. Um, the water actually got into our ventilation system and it came up through the floors as well. So we actually had to rip up a good majority of our um, flooring in our house. And then um, in some of the rooms, like my parents' room, there was about a foot of water. So we actually had to cut out some wall too. And then um, our AC unit and our water heater were screwed before Team Rubicon came. So <laughs> that was pretty bad. And then actually, um, it also got into our water. Um, and so for a couple of days, like, cause the creek water has like a lot of really disgusting filth in it. Um, so you have, and also keep in mind the porta potties tipped over. So you have sewage, you have creek filth, and then it gets into the water. And so, um, the water was also not drinkable for a couple of days to a week. Get them out. It's a lot of damage, a lot of money, but our house was definitely not the worst. But, um, I know that Cali sent, uh, group of students and including also uh, Dennis Riddle to Mulvane and they went around to like houses they helped pick up like a lot of the trash um, helped clean out houses I know that personally Dennis Riddle actually came to my house and um, he helped repair and tear and um, tear up the flooring it really does mean a lot because a lot of people got devastated by this flood and any bit of help is highly highly appreciated so thank you for being a good person and helping us out ever wondered why there's no pep band at home games Director of Instrumental Music, Evan Ricker, gave us the inside scoop on whether or not the college plans to employ its musical talents to show that, the, to show that true Cowley spirit. Before I came to Cowley, I was an adjunct professor at uh, Butler Community College. There I taught music appreciation and public speaking. Um, and I'm also currently on the marching band staff at Valley Center High School where I'm the drum major instructor. Um, before that, um, during my graduate studies at Wichita State, I was a graduate assistant conductor and teaching assistant to the orchestra. This year, some of the challenges that we're facing, the most notable challenge at the moment is just restarting the pep band. Um, and so one of the big challenges with that was getting student support behind it, administrative support behind it, and community support, which one of the really nice things is it sounds like most of the students, a good majority of the community and the administration were ready for it to happen. So far, it's coming along really well. We've got about 30 interested students, um, so that's going to make a really nice size ensemble to have at all the home basketball games to help represent Cali. Yet you don't have to be in the band, the concert band, to be in pep band. So anybody who's interested, we'd love to have you come to rehearsal with us. And they'll be every Friday from 12 to 12.50, starting again on the 30th. So, or I love it. Um, Cali is a great place to be. Um, everyone that I've encountered, everyone that I've talked to seems very, very helpful. They seem very friendly. Um, and it just is, feels like a big family to me, and that's something that I really like. Um, and I'm really happy to be a part of. So I'm ready to make this year a good one. It feels like there's always so much going on on campus. So true. I'm constantly having to set reminders on my phone of when events are. Here are a few events coming up that students will need to know. This is the campus calendar. Some of the important events are women's and men's tennis to host Baker University on October 8th. And the Cowley College Free Movie Night, October 13th at 10 p.m. Do you have an eight-week course? Be sure to check because they end on the 14th. And if you have a second eight-week session, begins the 17th of October.
Volleyball hosts Johnson County at 6 p.m. for Dig Pink Night on the 19th of October. And do you like to monster mash because the Halloween dance is at Cali Rec 9 p.m. to midnight on the 20th of October. That's all we have for you today. Until next time, I'm Tavin Wolford. And I'm Sydney Hufford. And, and that's, that's the, the no, no for now. now.